I want to talk about divine consciousness, about soul. Jesus said, does your law not say, are ye not gods? The soul of the breath of life that is breathed into each one of us at conception and birth. It's the same spark of soul from the source consciousness that originated at the beginning of the universe and originated before the universe. We are all capable of God consciousness, every single one of us. We incarnate and reincarnate into this life and forget our previous lives. So our soul can learn lessons and ascend to higher states of being. Every single one of us has source consciousness within us all the time. We have closed ourselves off to it. It is through healing and introspection that you open yourself up to this source consciousness and may and truly find that miracles are capable within each and every single one of us. <clears throat> we are committed to live this life and die and forget. We remember through healing and through introspection. We must study the shadow self, the darker aspects of ourselves, and accept that aspect of us and integrate it. It is through this that we find peace, through acceptance of the shadow. Each one of us contains every archetype within the universe, the mother, the father, the brother, the sister, souls have no sexuality, sexual orientation, biological sexual function. Sexuality is a human condition. We originate from the source consciousness which was split in the shards at the beginning of the universe. It is our duty in this life to heal ourselves and reconnect with this source consciousness. Through Gaia, which is the earth, Gaia is the consciousness of the earth. Into the universal consciousness. As I said, we do this through healing and introspection and kindness and unconditional love for others. It is through unconditional love, even for our enemies, that we find our way to God. Hate not so much as you can. Again, Jesus said, does your law not say ye are gods? We are all gods, every single one of us. It is our duty to raise our vibration. And in so doing, raise the collective vibration around us. What people say about us does not matter. What the masses believe, their ridicule of higher ideas in Western society does not matter. It is our responsibility to raise the collective vibration. As the collective vibration raises in one individual, it's a domino effect, and it raises in another, and another, and another, until eventually it has spread across the entire planet. We must ascend into five dimensional thinking, which is without time and boundless, without space. Our consciousness is not contained within our body or within our skull. Consciousness is everywhere. We can download information as well. We can send information back out into the universe. That does not mean that you cannot, that you will not struggle. 
You must find peace in the present moment, no matter what it is. Even during adversity, center yourself in the present moment. Worry about the future creates anxiety, creates fear, as well as worry about the past. One must lose their ego. Our egos and our attachment to this earthly realm prevents us from ascending.